Hello, welcome to another short video about my Mini. Um, a while back I purchased this car, it's a 2007 Mini Cooper R56 model, um, it's a petrol one. Um, one of the issues I had in this car when I bought it is, in fairness, the interior of this car is lovely, but it does have a bit of a smell in you. Um, it's, I think a smoker has used this car at some point in the past. Um, so today I'm going to try and tackle that, and what I've done is I bought one of these Mega Air uh, Refresher is an older eliminator, it's like a smoke bomb it's called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the air filter in the car and then apparently to use this then you um, get the car engine on, you have the air con flowing thoroughly in the car and then you uh, set it off and leave it somewhere within the car in here and um, walk away for 15 minutes. Um, while I'm at it, the reason that is there, um, I have got a little nick in a dash beer where something has been there previously. So what I'm going to do, um, since I'm going to be using this car for a bit of filming in the future, um, I'm going to permanently uh, put this uh, mount on the dashboard here now. Um, so that I can put um, a GoPro or similar, this is a cross tower camera, just for the purposes of today, um, in the car. Um, this one's only forward or rear facing, but I'm going to get different mounts so that I can have it perhaps facing toward the driver or at different angles um, in the car then. So I'm going to put that there permanently just to hide that little crack. Um, and yeah, that's it. The other thing we installed today as well, just had a set of these through um, to the post, the little mini um, logos. A lot of the newer minis come with them already, but I'm just going to put them up um, either side on over the, uh, the little buttons there, just to sort of add an, an additional touch to the car. I think they look quite nice. Um, they're only about three or four pounds on Amazon and eBay, so it was worth getting. Um, right, next. Right, the cabin filter then on this mini. Uh, this is a UK right-hand drive version. Um, it's tucked all the way under here. Um, you can't see that very well because of the thing. Let's see if I can get a torch going here to get it up. Get it up a bit better under there. It's in this panel here. So you've got to use a flat-bladed screwdriver now to pop um, the front of that panel off. And then the uh, cabin filter is tucked away in there. So I'll just get this off initially. Um, I can't hold the camera and do it, so I'll have to switch the camera off a second and uh, we'll look what, what state the cabin filter's in. So pop in the third one and just comes down and sits down like that. And there is the filter up there and it goes in. It's a little bit messy to be honest, but I think what I've seen, they're all like that and it's, it's living on a bit of a rail under there. So I'm just going to pull this out now and check it. There we have it, there's the old cabin filter, comes complete with spiders, leaves have got in there somehow, and there's a fair bit of dust and uh, mould mold and bits and bobs in it too. So uh, yeah, this one's going to go, and the reason I'm getting rid of that is because the smoke as well will be embedded into this filter and will blow back into the cabin. So I'm going to put a nice fresh one in place now, and uh, that would be a great start. Here's my replacement filter then. Um, and if you look underneath there, um, when you're installing these, you can see that there's a, there's a rail up here and the filter is intended to go up and around the rail and follow the shape of that so it's just blocking this um, area. It's a bit of a strange design to be honest because from what I've seen from other videos as well, it doesn't really um, fit perfectly into this uh, rail so there will be a bit of, um, it, it will go out of shape a little bit as you put it in but it's uh, worth Changing them, especially if you purchase the car um, from somewhere else, from someone else, just change change the filter over, and you get a nice fresh uh, cabin in. So there's the new filter um, in place within the car. As you can see, um, the filter bends out of place a little bit as it goes in. Um, however, those areas will still be useful, and the reason it's bent like that is because it's actually um, not straight. It's uh, in a in there at an angle and looped but um, that's about as uh, good as it gets that's as straight as I can get in and to be honest um, from what I've seen of other videos every single one of them looks like that when they go in so uh, there we are nice new um, cabin filter in place then I'll just shut this up and lock it and um, we'll move on to the uh, smoke bomb so this is the base then uh, for the GoPro cameras um, I'm going to stick this um, on next now it's got 3M tape in the bottom which is pretty um, solid it shouldn't move anywhere however it can uh, it can be pulled off if necessary so just attach this now and we'll get the camera in place because you're not allowed to stay in the car obviously while this is going so you basically 
turn the car on, turn all your aircon on and full blast. Um, set that to go, get out to the car and then leave it for 15 minutes and it um, just empties itself into the car and you give it um, 15 minutes to settle. Um, it claims to permanently eliminate odour, um, one time use. So it's, uh, it's interesting, I don't know whether it's going to work but we're certainly going to give it a try. So there we go, GoPro, well, cheap GoPro camera um, in place on the dashboard ready to rock and I'm going to, um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do these next now just to get them in place because they may as well be on the car um, and then this next. So there were two of these in the pack that um, I bought and this is what it looks like close and personal. Um, again, 3M tape on the back, you just peel it off and stick it on. Um, it's quite nice it's got a, a nice finish to it it's got a mini logo um on it so yeah i'll just peel this off now and stick it on a test fitting now i'm gonna go over there and sit on there just something like that and make sure it's straight but um yeah that looks fantastic in fairness straight away so yeah i'll get that on now first one fitted then looking from directly at the top i'm happy with that it looks absolutely fantastic actually it's much nicer than uh what was there before and just adds another little detail to the car and there's the second side done then um i've still got a bit of damage on this side from where um this window you was previously held up with um cello tape from the previous owner we fixed the issue with the window now it's working but i still need to get in and really um clean this and get it back to normal but i've this area was quite um good so i'm happy uh enough to stick that on there but that's the final result that's one side and there's the other so really happy with that they're looking fantastic right on to the smoke bomb this is what the tin looks like inside um, and popping the cap then um, this is the uh, the top inside that I'm assuming it's either a press or a flick and that um, sets off and so first protocol start the car get all the blowers going uh, full blast and I'm going to change it to internal as well. Recirculate in the air. I'll put aircon on as well. So we've got the full blast, full effect of everything. Um, keep the temperature in the middle. There's no need to heat really. Right. Let's get the car door open. Side. I'm going to get out myself. So apparently it is just a press of that and it'll set the trigger off and then it'll shut the doors. Now, I'm not going to shut the doors completely because believe it or not I've only got one key for this car so um, I won't be able to get back in. So what I'll do is I'll just um, close the door to and leave it at that but here goes. Well, the other camera up there rolling as well just to get an idea of uh, how it sets off in here so there we are that's set off for now let's get the door shut oh just leave that slightly taut see some of that heading down into the car can't really see much from the back thing is I'm outside the car and I can smell that quite well from out here so it must be uh, coming uh, coming out through the carbon filter out the engine and also out all the any, any any slight cracks in the car. Right, time to come back in 15 minutes and uh, test the results. So fast forward about 20 minutes then and it doesn't look like there's anything left coming out of the can. So uh, Take a look in here. Oh, 
Well, I tell you what, they haven't invented smelly vision yet, but that is quite a strong smell in this car now. So I'm going to leave the car running for a little while and open the doors out just to let things air in here. But it certainly smells a lot different uh, in here after setting that off. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, like I say, I'm just giving the car another five minutes or so with the um, aircon on full blast and all the doors open just to let that stuff um, escape as best possible. Um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's difficult to show now, but it's very, it's very uh, yeah, it's quite thick in here now with the smell of that um, scent. So uh, the previous smell of smoke is definitely gone. Um, whether that's going to be a permanent uh, thing, I don't know, but the uh, results have been a post in a couple of days, I guess. Um, the next thing I do, I think I'm going to do to this car, is I'm going to give the interior a full valet, um, see if I can bring up and just make the leather a bit more supple, clean the chairs, and in, in the back here as well, there's some stains on the seat and uh, things, so I'm going to get that um, cleaned up as best I can. Um, yeah, progress is coming on well. Just for the um, to finish the video off, then this is the uh, product I used. It's uh, Refresh Air by uh, Mega Airs, whole car hair freshener, auto eliminator. Uh, I think I bought it on Amazon, um, it wasn't expensive, but all you do to set it off is there's a trigger up there um, and you just push it down and when you push it down it clicks in a place and that's it then it's uh, deployed and you can't do anything about it. Um, it's a one use only um, system and once it's finished then this gets um, thrown but uh, if you've got a particular odour in the car uh, it will certainly mask it and hope, well it claims to be able to get rid of it permanently um, and I'm hoping with the inclusion of the new cabin filter, it'll do that. So um, thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope it's been informative. And um, please leave, leave a like and a comment if you um, wish. Um, if you want the link to that particular um, product, then let me know. Cheers.